think of Ghana's forest as a pair of lungs or kidneys, cleaning our air and water, regulating rainfall, sunshine and serving as a buffer against natural disasters. The country's kidneys and lungs are currently being attacked and perforated at a faster rate by illegal mining. Global Forest Watch data indicates that between 2001 and 2021, trees sitting on 1.41 million hectares of land were destroyed across Ghana. The destruction of tree cover is equivalent to about half the size of the entire Ashanti region, which is about 2.4 million hectares. In this deal, it is the largest. In fact, I don't even know how to start and how to end. I'm even shocked seeing the ground like this. The largest, the largest so far. Forests degraded, water sources polluted, and the attendant change in climatic conditions have affected farming. It is the forest that gives farmers in this area rain to farm. But now, if God doesn't intervene, we will not have the rains to grow our crops. Many of these farmers have had their source of livelihood destroyed by the mining of this forest. But their taxes will pay for the $103 million contracted to reclaim the devastation. Environmental conservation organization Arocha Ghana has a problem with that. Sometimes I ask myself why does even the World Bank even support such initiatives or push those initiatives before us? Daryl Bosu is deputy national director. Business persons have been given concessions. They've gone into our forest reserves, into our landscape, mined it for gold, traded it, kept the profit for themselves. And the public is going to pay for a loan that is now going to be used to reclaim the mess of some businesses. It's not fair. And there's no way anyone, and even the World Bank, should support such an initiative. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaredonko, Kumasi.